Hello and greetings everyone. I know I've already made one video today, but while I was sitting reading, this is one of my favourite books at the minute by um, Jan Fries. I was going through it, and when I say the word Neanderthal, what do you think? Well, if you think a brutish half ape, half man, um, that's that's barely civilized, you know. That uh, savage, then you're wrong. I mean, Neanderthal, they had shoes, clothes, uh, made hooden spears, used um, tar to glue the spearheads, the spears used in flints. They had buildings, they didn't just live in caves, they had buildings. They did ceremonies, religious ceremonies. Now, these objects here, I'm going to move the phone so you can see better. These objects here. I'm trying to get where I can see them. No, I'm not very good at showing these things. I'll turn around like that. I'm not very good at these videos, you know. Okay. Look at these artwork. Right? This woman here is drinking out of a horn. These images are Neanderthal. Right, long before modern humans, you see this right in here, looks like runes, there's a lot of similarity for runes, you know, there's a few runes that we, we would recognise, they um, uh, Homo erectus, before Neanderthal. You can see the beginning of the runes there. This was taken from a cave, also by Homo erectus, which is like 200,000 years ago. This is elephant bone. And you see, we count so many lines along, count up. So they were able to count. They were able to make images. All these images aren't just squiggly lines. They all mean something. They're not an alphabet as in letters. They are meanings. So a bit like stick. Um, stick people, you know. But this. That could be a human. As I say human, Homo sapiens sapien. We used to be called Homo sapiens. Um... And I think Homo sapiens means intelligent or technical, technological, big word. Um, but then found out Neanderthal was just as intelligent as us. In fact, our brain size, mine, is, um, I think it's 104, uh, 1,400 cubic blah blahs or something like that. Um, Neanderthals at the end, their cubic centimetre brain was 1,700, and ours was only 1,400. When the first Neanderthals came around, their brain capacity, the, the size of the brain, was 1,450 minimum. That's 50 cubic centimetres bigger than ours. I might have the cubic centimetres all wrong, it was the size of measurement. I um, can't remember exactly what I was reading about. But it looks like Neanderthals had art. Um, they had tool working, which is bone, um, flint. They had fire. Neanderthal and Homo erectus had fire before 
modern humans came out of so-called Africa. There's a theory saying modern humans came out of Africa. As I say, it's a theory because there's no proof. You know, they, they go on about Peking Man or something like that. Um, and they've only found a few bones. You know, they, they find a bit of jawbone here and there. And they seem to build a whole lifestyle out of just a few bones. Well, that's just guesswork. And their guess is as good as mine. Uh, I don't know where first man appeared. I don't know when. don't know where he came from. Well, the gods. But didn't the gods talk about the Yotans in the same way? Say they were primitive. They were savage. They couldn't even, you know, have a family life because they were just savages. And that's the way we talk about Neanderthals. And it turns out, at the time, they were more technological. Techno I can't hear that word, so I'm not even going to try. It means clever. They had more technology. Got it out. They had more technology than we did. They had fire and art. And they were able to count. They looked after the old. They cared for the young. They cared for the sick. There's loads of examples where Neanderthals had broken bones, many broken bones, and they've all healed over the years. There's even signs where Neanderthals done brain operations on each other. Don't know why they did the brain operations, that's unknown. But the point is, these holes, when they've done the brain operations, healed up so it shows the people survived now we're not not known how well they survived it you know they might have been um unable to walk and stuff like that but it shows they were cared for now around some areas where they found little villages little groups they had a big circle and in the circle was packed down little stones and bones as if someone had been running up and down on it or dancing on it. And there was nothing else found there. There was no uh, rubbish or tools or anything. It was all little small stones and little bits of bone. It looked like they'd been compacted down. Now all the way around these circles was um, Neanderthal skulls. Just the skulls. No other bones were found there. So this shows ritual. What does ritual show? shows religion it shows the worshipped either nature they might have had gods now this is all proof how long humans homo sapiens um, homo erectus um, homo neanderthal how long we've all been here I mean, the gods have been here a long, long, long time before that. But how much is science keeping from them? Because there's been evidence all over the world of giants, and yet you talk to the governments and they're nope, never been any proof of giants. And yet there's lots of people all over the world, photographs of bones, Photographs of digs. There's lots of scientists have said, yeah, we found these bones, given the government, and they've lost them. And you talk to the governments, all governments, Russians, Americans, Brazilians, Mexico, England, France, talk to them all. Say, no, I've never seen them. They might have handed some bones in thinking they were giants, but we never found them. I mean, all over Greece, all over Scandinavia. So giants have existed. So why have they been hid? What else has been hid? Mm. So remember, Neanderthals weren't thuggish. They were athletic, strong, intelligent. And people say, then why did they die out? Did they die out? A lot of us got DNA from Neanderthal. That doesn't mean to say we're evolved from Neanderthal in the Homo sapien means we're interbred. 
Now, if, especially for all these white supremacists that say the white race is the pure race, white people are the people that's got the most Neanderthal DNA. So if anything, we're a mix race of Homo sapiens and Neanderthal. So the more pure white race you think you are, the more you're a mixed race between Neanderthal and Homo sapiens. So, you know, all these people that think, you know, white supremacy and all that, just remember that. Part of you, 4%, probably, so more, and Neanderthal. Caveman! Okay. Now, in light of what happens to be going on all over the world, I just would like to say peace to everyone, no matter where you come from, no matter what religion you are, what colour you are, we're all humans. Toodles. Hail the gods. Hail to you. Hail there. Hail the old father. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.